Tonight, Steve Falkenberg is getting ready for his first court appearance on second-degree murder charges. He's accused of killing Tammy LaFramboise in Yankton and then dumping her body in another state. Kelloland Sarah McDonald takes a closer look at what happened leading up to her disappearance. A worried mother reported to Mara LaFramboise missing on March 5th. Mary LaFramboise said Tamara called her from work at Wilson Trailer four days earlier. She hadn't heard from her since. Court papers say she also told investigators about a turbulent relationship involving her daughter and Stephen Falkenberg. The same day Tammy called her mother. Surveillance video shows her outside the Yankton Walmart store getting into Falkenberg's pickup. Investigators say it was the last time her debit card was used. When investigators spoke with Falkenberg, he said they had coffee at her apartment and she told him to leave. On Saturday, the investigation expanded hundreds of miles to the Little River in Menominee County, Michigan, just a mile and a half from Falkenberg's brother's home. That morning, two boys were walking their dog and uh, they looked over the side of a bridge and saw a body. A local police officer remembered an alert about a missing South Dakota woman. Investigators identified Tamara Lofran boys using her tattoos. Back in South Dakota, court papers say an interview with Falkenberg's daughter gave authorities the information they needed to make an arrest for second degree murder. Falkenberg could also face charges in Michigan. Uh, we're still conducting a very thorough and elaborate investigation here. And uh, if at some point additional charges are warranted here, then those will be evaluated and uh, pursued. In the meantime, investigators in both states want to remember Tamara Laframboise not as a victim, but as a daughter and a mother of two. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, Yankton County, and especially with Tamara's family at this time. And if you would like to read about Falkenberg's conversation with his daughter, we've posted the court papers in their entirety on Kelloland.com.